All right, ladies and gentlemen, the information is coming in so fast and furious. Um, I might do one or two more updates, and then I'm getting on the road. They're calling for voluntary evacuations for people outside of Houston and... Um, Yeah, astonishing. Yeah, look at that thing. Okay, yeah, I'm about to get out of here. And the main reason I'm making this video now is because I gotta run some errands and then I'm gonna get on the road. Last time I tried to do this, it took me like 15 hours to get there. I hope my car will make it. I might post videos from the road. Um, but yeah, this is shaping up to be a disaster. Maybe unlike Texas has ever seen before. Now the main reason I'm making this quick video is that look at that one of the models now pu puts it at 926 millibars do you hear what I'm saying like that would be just a catastrophic epic disaster and that the models still have it so people keep leaving in comments like oh Texas has been hit by a category 3 storm before man you know, like, hey, dude, do you even listen to information? Please remember, I've been covering the weather for like four years on a macro level. And I said, hey, this thing would probably hit Texas at a Category 3 days ago. So, though I do get stuff wrong at times, I make mistakes, I'm a human being. Uh, you know, like, um, let me show you something. That, the reason I don't like, you know, I don't like covering weather. And, um. drives me crazy but I feel like somebody has to do it and so in the last month when I made like what 40 videos man YouTube paid me $140 for 40 videos for like what I don't know 300 hours of work so I'm not doing this because I'm getting tons of super weather groupies they're not like major mega models coming after me like oh my god I love your weather forecasting so make love to me you know like there's no real benefits from doing this I get death threats people don't like like YouTube literally censors all my shit so the reason I'm telling you that this storm like now it's coming in at record millibar levels and watch this is the 20 this is Saturday comes in on Saturday and then on Monday still hanging around and so technically the storm system and it's still dropping look at that that is purple which on rain that's still saying it's like rain this is 24 inches man so that can't be true I mean that's what I'm saying if these numbers are anywhere near true and this is on Thursday the 31st which is a week from today okay and then it's hitting Louisiana who's having major flooding problems so it doesn't technically leave Texas till Friday eight days from now okay so this thing is gonna continue to drop rain and then you got the next one coming in. See, and this one, although that one is looking like it might go towards the East Coast, but that is two weeks away. But So we don't have to worry about that now. But I'm saying that's the major reason this thing will be dropping rain for a long time. So, you know, I'm uh, going to run some errands, and then I'll be back. I'll probably make one more, and then I'll get on the road because it's getting bad. And as the data came in, this is why, like, I asked Governor Abbott yesterday to start evacuating people and close the schools because all the data continues to just get worse leading up to this it just gets worse I've never seen a storm like that so I'm doing what I can to help save lives get people prepared and my plan was to leave at about midnight tonight and now I'm probably gonna leave eight hours earlier than I want to I have a five hour drive ahead of me so man I, I do what I can to be the coolest guy possible at all times and literally you know it gets there are like no rewards that come from being a cool guy these days. Not not many that I can think of. Just got a ton of shit dealing with. Anyway, so I love you guys. I mean, I know times I let the few shitheads get on my nerves. I'm saying like doing this for a long time, long road haul, haul, and you know, I ain't doing it for the money. This ain't a lot of fun. I, they, I can't. What are the benefits of doing this? What are the benefits of trying to bring my country together? What are the benefits of standing up to like the left and the right going, hey, you're both wrong. We need to unify. We need to unify now. Our political system's broken. And so, 
like we can't like you know that literally the main motive is we're gonna keep a 1980s war going on for 36 more years and they want oil to always be at 46 above 46 dollars a barrel you know and so that's just it you can look at pretty much all policy decisions doesn't matter if it's left or right are going to be made trying to maintain those directives you know so dude i know a lot and there's so much i can't even say you know and and i'm just saying i keep giving my all and it seems like i don't know i'm just i'm disappointed in state of society and so you can be disappointed in me that's fine I'm just, i guess i'm freaking out and anyway, i love you guys <laughs> oh my god i need a back up and i love there you go i'll let it out i'm gonna go right here